explore one of the most common questions I get from patients. What is cancer? Take the example of lung cancer, the cancer that kills more Americans per year than any other. In order to understand how cancer starts, we have to zoom way in, I mean way in, to microscopic levels to see the basic building block of any organ in our bodies, the cell. Every cell holds a unique genetic code in a coiled molecule called DNA. Over time, each cell's lifespan comes to an end, and it replicates itself to create two new cells that then go on to carry out the function of the organ where they live. Each new cell receives identical DNA from the parent cell. Now, over time, cells can accumulate DNA damage either from exposure to cancer-causing chemicals like tobacco smoke or just due to random chance alone. Normally, when DNA damage is passed on, new cells detect the damage and either repair it or send a signal to the cell to stop dividing and die because it's no good anymore. But cancer cells form when DNA damage accumulates and goes undetected. Cancers form when instead of receiving a signal to die, instead they get a signal to grow, spread, and multiply. If we leave the microscopic world and go back to the example of the lung, we see that a cancer starts as a small group of cells. But over time, they start to grow out of control. If we catch them early enough, it can be cured either with surgery or with focused radiation. But if cancer grows undetected, it can spread. In the case of lung cancer, it typically moves to lymph nodes in the chest first. This is still potentially curable with chemotherapy and radiation. So how does cancer become life-threatening? Cancer can't move around on its own. It exploits our body's blood circulatory system, which is normally doing the work of delivering oxygen and nutrients to vital organs like the brain and bones. But when cancer gets into the bloodstream, it has a ticket to ride, and it tends to lodge in organs with a rich blood supply. This is called stage four or metastatic cancer and focal treatments like surgery aren't helpful. In this case, we need to put the treatment directly into the compartment in the body where the cancer is living, the bloodstream. So we use IV treatments like chemotherapy and immunotherapy to attack the disease. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe for more cancer explanations. This is of course not medical advice. Discuss medical decisions with your doctor. To join the discussion, follow me on Twitter at Dr. Gru. For appointments in the office, visit ctradonc.com.